So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through eight different prompts that I insert into ChatGPT to help me with my online business that I'm able to generate over 10, 20, 30, $40,000 every single month from. So if you're a beginner that's looking to also make money using ChatGPT, you may want to stick around for this entire video so that you can get an understanding of exactly how you can use it with your online business to put you on the path of being able to make whatever money you're trying to make with an online business. So first things first, what exactly is ChatGPT? for anyone that's never heard of it and doesn't really understand exactly how it works. Well, simply put, ChatGPT is AI technology that you're going to be able to sign up to for completely free. You need to head over to openai.com. You're then going to see the login link where you're going to be able to insert your email address and your phone number. You then need to make sure that you verify everything so that you're going to be able to log into your account. And once you do verify everything, this is a similar page to what you're going to see. So once you're in your account, everything is going to be quite simple. You're going to see all of your chats on the left hand side over here. And in this section over here, you're going to be able to send any message that you want to. So as I already said at the start of this video, Video, I'm going to be going through eight different prompts that I use ChatGPT for on a weekly basis to help me run my online business. And when I say prompt for anyone that doesn't really understand what that is, it's simply what you're going to enter into this section over here for ChatGPT to give you a response back. So jumping straight into one of the first prompts that I enter in, which has got something to do with helping me with my e-commerce business when it comes to finding new winning products to add to my store. So let's say, for example, if I currently have a e-commerce store that's selling household products, I may want to ask it or enter a prompt along the lines of, tell me 10 winning product ideas I can sell in my e-commerce business that is focused on selling household products and then click on enter. And right there within a few seconds, it's now giving me all of these different ideas that I may want to look into and I may want to see if I'm going to actually be able to make any money from them. So one of the next things that I'll do from this point is just scroll through the list and see if there's any item that stands out to me. So what I'm going to do is research, let's say this one over here, the first one in the list, which is smart home security system. Come over to a product research tool like Zeke Analytics and just paste it in there just like this. And as you guys can see, Zeke Analytics is able to show me that over $50,000 was spent on an item that contained these different keywords. So if I wanted to find a specific item that falls under this particular category, what I may wanna do is just scroll down just like this and it's gonna be able to show me all of these top selling products. So if I just click into this one over here. So this is basically the item that's being sold on eBay. It's a wireless security camera. We can also see that over 13 units has been sold in the last 24 hours and over 339 units has been sold in total. So by entering this prompt into ChatGPT, it's automatically giving me all of these different products that are selling well right now that I could also sell myself for me to be able to make money. So moving on to the second prompt that I enter into ChatGPT to help me run my online business, which is to come up with email ideas. So I've currently got various different online businesses in various different capacities, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's eBay, Shopify dropshipping, affiliate marketing. I've got so many different online businesses at the moment and I've got multiple different email newsletters to go with all of them. So sticking with the example of a e-commerce store that sells household products, I can enter a prompt into ChatGPT along the lines of give me 10 informative email ideas for people that subscribed to a newsletter for information about household products and then click on enter. And as you can see, it's now coming back with all of these different ideas that I may have not even thought of. For example, ideas such as safe and child-friendly household products, the art of home decor, eco-conscious, blah, blah, blah. All of these different ideas that I can now create emails about and schedule them to be sent out in the future. Which actually now brings me on to the third prompt that I use ChatGPT for, which is to actually write the emails for all of my different e-commerce stores. So for example, let's say if I wanted to write an email for this one over here, which is Kitchen Organization 101, what I can do is ask it to write a 100 word email for Kitchen Organization 101 with a call to action selling a kitchen blender and then click on enter. And just like that, I've now got a fully written email that I'm gonna be able to make any changes that I want to. And it's gonna be a simple case of me just copying it just like this and pasting it into my email marketing software. And I'm gonna be able to write an unlimited amount of emails 
for me to promote all of the different products in my e-commerce store. All right, guys, so moving on to the next type of online business that I'm currently running that I use ChatGPT for, which is with a faceless YouTube channel. And there's so many different ways that you can use it, but one of the initial ways that I like to use it is to come up with video ideas. So at the moment, I'm currently working on building up various different faceless channels. And with that means I'm going to need an unlimited amount of video ideas. And this is a perfect AI tool to help you with the entire process but let me show you exactly how you can use it when it comes to coming up with video topics so let's say if i was looking to build up a channel that was within the stock market niche i'm going to be able to ask it give me 10 video ideas for a faceless channel that is about the stock market and then click on enter and instantly i've now got all of these different video ideas that i'm going to be able to work from but when it comes to making sure that all of these different ideas are worth working on i'm going to be able to copy it just like this so let's say if i wanted to do research into the top 10 stocks to watch in 2023 I'm going to be able to copy it just like this and then head over to a YouTube software that I like to use called vidIQ because they've got this feature over here where you're going to be able to enter in any keyword for video that you're looking to make and it's going to let you know if people are searching for it and if you're going to be able to generate views. So I'm just going to enter these keywords just like this and then click on search. So as you guys have saw, vidIQ is letting me know that the amount of people searching for it is fairly high. It's got a medium score and the amount of competition there is, is fairly low, which means my chances of being able to get a decent amount of views is going to be high if I did make a video on this topic. But let's say now if I wanted to create the actual script for the video that I'm gonna send over to my editors for them to actually produce the entire video for me, I'm gonna be able to ask ChatGPT to write a script for a 10 minute YouTube video about the top 10 stocks to watch in 2023 just like this and then click on enter and within one second i've now got the entire script that i'm going to be able to copy into a word document make any changes read through it make sure that everything is how it should be send it to my editor or i could just make the video myself using various different editing softwares but this is definitely one of the most popular prompts that i'm entering in into chat gpt on a regular basis to create various different videos that i'm currently releasing every single day. But once I've received my fully edited video and I'm ready to upload it to YouTube, one of the final prompts that I'm entering in on a regular basis is write a YouTube description for the video about top 10 stocks and include the most popular keywords for this video for YouTube SEO purposes. And the reason why I like to specify that it includes the keywords for YouTube SEO purposes is because of course it's going to allow it to rise higher in the YouTube search results. So instead of me having to spend 10, 20, 30 minutes to come up with a YouTube description every single time that I wanna publish a video, I don't have to do that no longer because ChatGPT saves me a lot of time. I'm gonna be able to simply copy and paste all of this. It's already here, already written with the emojis and everything that I need structured in the best possible way. But one quick tip that I wanna give you guys if you are considering to sign up to vidIQ by using the 30 day trial link in my description down below, which is that you're gonna be able to do do the exact same things that I just showed you on ChatGPT. Because for example, they've got this tool over here called AI Generator. So if I just click into it, once you enter in the title of the video that you're working on, so in this case, we're working on the top 10 stocks to watch in 2023. Once you've entered in the title of the video, you're just gonna click on go. And as I just said, vidIQ is gonna be able to come back and give you everything that ChatGPT was able to give you in one go. For example, the title of the video, as well as the video script, the description that you may wanna use, as well as the keywords and the tags that you may wanna use, and also the actual voiceover that you can download onto your computer and use in the actual video. Using vidIQ's AI tools is very similar to using ChatGPT, but I would say that the main difference is, is that vidIQ do have a bit more data when it comes to helping YouTubers. So if you are looking to build an automated channel, it may be worth your while to sign up to that 30 day trial by clicking the link in my description down below so that you can use both ChatGPT and vidIQ to increase your chances of success. All right guys, so swiftly moving on to the seventh prompt that I'm gonna talk about in today's video that I always 
use when it comes to helping me make money online with ChatGPT, which is to help me with a specific online business model, which is an affiliate marketing website. Now, for those of you that don't know exactly how an affiliate marketing website works, it's essentially a blog that you're going to build and you're going to center it around a specific niche. And the aim of the game for you to be able to earn money from this online business is to release blog articles every so often. The more consistent that you can be when it comes to publishing blog articles, the more chances you're going to get your articles ranked on Google and you're then gonna be able to increase your chances of being able to earn affiliate commissions. Very simple, very straightforward way of making money, but the prompt that I use ChatGPT for with this specific online business model is to give me 10 blog ideas for a blog website that is about whatever the website is about. But in this case, I'm going to use the stock market as an example, and then I'm gonna click on enter. And once it's come back with all of these different ideas, I can then move over to the final prompt that I'm gonna show you guys in today's video, which is to use ChatGPT to actually write the entire article for me. Now, most people don't realize that you can actually use AI bots when it comes to producing AI written content, but you just need to make sure that you change some words around so that Google isn't able to identify that you did use something like ChatGPT when it comes to writing the article. So I'm gonna move over to the final prompt right now, which is, can you write a 1000 word blog article about the top 10 stock market mistakes to avoid because that was the second one in the results and then I'm gonna click on enter. And just as you might have guessed, it's come back with the entire blog that I'm going to copy just like this and paste it into a Word document. Then what I'm gonna do once I have made all of the necessary changes to the article is come over to this tool called originality.ai because what it's gonna be able to do is let me know if Google's gonna be able to identify if I did use something like ChatGPT to write it. So the way that it works is very simple. All you need to do is insert the title just like that. Then you're going to paste the actual article and then you're gonna click on scan now. All right, perfect. So as you guys can see on the right hand side over here, it's let me know that 86% of this article is original and 14% is written by AI. So this is a good balance in my opinion. Of course, you wanna get this number a bit down, maybe to around 10%, 7%, but as long as it's not 50% original and 50% AI, you should be able to be okay when it comes to you being ranked on Google. And if you also wanted to sign up to originality.ai so that you can go away after watching this video and double check all of the different articles that you wanna start publishing on your website, you're gonna be able to sign up to them as well by clicking the link in my description. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button, I really appreciate that, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification. And if you wanna sign up to my completely free email newsletter where every single week, I'm gonna send you an email when it comes to educating you on exactly how you can make money online. Whether it's an email about affiliate marketing, starting your own blog website, and of course, using tools like ChatGPT, you're going to be able to receive an email from myself personally to help you on your online business journey. So make sure that you sign up for that again for completely free by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you also want to watch a recent video that I made where I break down step by step exactly how you can use ChatGPT and various different AI bots when it comes to creating your own affiliate marketing website, then you're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Make sure you check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.